on this channel, I don't talk about ships much. It's not really the most interesting part of Wings of Fire for me. Plus, it tends to start a lot of fights. But one thing I am interested in is hybrids. I've been wanting to revisit that fun hybrid challenge I did a couple years ago, where I picked tribes to combine using a random number generator. But I wanted to put an interesting twist on it. You've already clicked the thumbnail, so you know where this is going. Like before, I've numbered each character in the Jade Winglet 1-7, through seven, then picked two with the generator. I thought I'd do three pairs to start out with. You don't really have to think of these dragon combinations as ships, per se. You could call it a magical fusion, or something. These really don't have to make sense logically. These fan children are less of me taking them seriously, and more of me using them for art prompts to get creative with. I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration from nature as well. I'll just roll two names, draw whatever comes to mind, and do some headcanon freestyles and ramblings as I go. Then I'll sell the finished dragon designs as adoptables on my Instagram. Anyways, let's get into it. Our first hybrid of the day is Moon and Turtle. They would make a cute couple, I think. They're both sort of quiet and bookish. I think Turtle would let Moon read the embarrassing stories he mentioned writing in Towns of Power. His little fan fictions. Probably the most interaction we get between these two was in Moon Rising. I kind of miss the sort of sinister turtle we got from that book. He was totally chill about a bunch of violent stuff, or at least it seemed that way, and you just didn't know what he could be hiding. I personally thought he wanted to take the Sea Wing throne for himself. I wonder how the books would have gone if that was true. TikTok people are gonna love this. Whee! I'm going to call him Angler. He's related to two of the most anxious characters in Wings of Fire, so he's probably an antisocial shut in. Since he's part Nightwing and part Sea Wing, his body can't decide when he's supposed to be awake, so he's just a permanent insomniac. At least he can make his own light. He's also good at hunting, like his mom, so his name suits him. Let's see our second hybrid of the day. We have Moon and Carnelian. got the short end of the stick in the series. It seemed like she just needed to be out of the way so Peril could be the main character. What if Moon was able to rescue her from the bomb and Carnelian falls for her as she carries her away in slow motion as explosions go off behind them?
her name. I modeled her markings after a Turkish van cat. If I had a nickel for every night sky hybrid I drew that was based on a cat, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Sorry for that. Our last hybrid today is Turtle and Umber. Both of them could bond over having big families and the fact that they aren't really noticed or don't really want to be noticed in the group. Both of them have really cozy vibes, so I wanted that to really show in this guy's design. something to look forward to. This is going to be a thing now. I'll call them Hybrid Fridays! For now, Angler, Comet, and Gator will be going up for sale as adoptables on my Instagram for the next week. The link to that is in the description. See you there, or see you next time!